good evening good morning good night from wherever you are watching us and welcome to this tutorial where we are going to learn how to use imagine ai imagine ai helps to transform your text into an image with an ai generator and you can create all inspiring masterpieces effortlessly and explore the endless possibilities of ai generated art what you simply do is you enter a prompt choose a style and watch Imagine AI Art Generator bring your ideas to life. So to get to Imagine AI Art Generator, you simply go to imagine.art and the link is available in the description of this video. And then you'll be able to generate such stunning images as you can see. You simply use a very simple text prompt and then you just give it the settings and then you are able to generate such nice looking images as you can see here and then and imagine art generator has a user base of around 6 million plus and discord users of more than that 5000 and then images processed are more than 70 million images so that tells you it has endless possibilities you only have to imagine so once you get to this site you will simply come to the top here and click on generate and once you click on that, it will lead you to the page where you will be signing in. Or if you don't have an account, you simply sign up using your email and definitely a password. You can sign in with Google, you can sign in with Facebook, or you can sign in using Discord. And finally, you can sign in using your email. So you sign up, you sign in using any of this. But if you don't have an account, you click down here on sign up. And again, you can sign up with the same, same tools, Google, Facebook, Discord, or email. And then you put your password and it brings you to this site. So now how do you use this? Now imagine Art Generator is still under development. And so there are some parts of the item that are still coming soon. If you come to the left-hand side, you can see we have AI magic tools, which are new and we are going to be exploring that. But when you come to community showcase, you notice here it shows coming soon. Personal feed again coming soon. But depending on the time you'll be watching this video, maybe this will be open. But generally, you will have benefited on how to use this, how to use this Imagine Art Generator. So you can also manage your subscriptions and you can also contact the customer support. So down here, you can explore the tools. Here we have image remix we have in painting where you can simply paint an image from one color to the other you notice here we have a blue bottle here and then changes to a glass with the same same setting there then you can also do the expand image where you have an image maybe on portrait and you want to expand it on landscape you can use imagine art to do that that feature is coming soon and then you can also do the background replacement where you notice on this side of this image, we have a background replaced by this other background. This one is coming soon. And you can also get inspired by just visiting the community to just see sample images created using Imagine Art Generator. Samples created using Imagine Art Generator. You notice the images here that are just going across the screen, how beautiful they look like. So once you get to this site now, how do you generate such images? So you'll simply come to the top here. And then under text to image feature here, which is available here, AI magics, you simply click on generate at just once. And so this is an image I had generated earlier. So and then here on the prompt, you type what you want generated. For instance, I'll type just a weird image that would be so hard to find on the internet. Let me write a red cow, a red cow licking ice cream. Once you type your prompt here, on the upper right hand side, you notice you can choose the aspect ratio. You can choose one to one, that is square, nine to 16, that is for premium, 16 to nine, four to three and three to two. And then under art styles, you can decide which one to use. In this case, I'm using Imagine V4, which is at the beta stage. 
but you can also choose these others here. Either you can look for the all of them or the popular one or your favorites here. So you can choose any of these ones here. You can use Imagine V4 Beta, V4 Creative, Imagine V3, Cosmic, Anime, Imagine V1. So whichever one you want to use in this case, I'll just generate the first image using Imagine V4 Beta. Then I'm going to be generating the same prompt using the second one. Then we see the differences. So I'll click on the first one there. And then for the resolution here, uh, you can either decide to have it as high resolution but this high resolution is only available under subscription and then you can enter the negative prompt. Now, for the negative prompt, this is what you don't want to see in the image. For instance, a red cow licking ice cream and we suspect maybe it might generate something to do with blood. I can just put the prompt here, do not show blood. So that is how you use the negative prompt, what you don't want to appear on your image. Then you can set the CFG scale of your image. You can also do the step-to-step -step scaling and then you can enter seed here. But in this case, you don't have to do all that because Imagine Art Generator is able to just get you the right images. So I'll come back to my prompt here, a red cow licking ice cream and I click on generate. So it's now generating. You notice down here, it is rotating. So you simply give it a moment to generate. And there we have it. So you notice now we have a red cow licking ice cream. And this looks like a cow that has already been dipped in ice cream. So you can expand this by clicking on this button. Or you can click on the second button here to download. So if you want to generate another image, you simply do the same, same thing here. You simply give the prompt and then you generate. Now I want to compare this prompt by using Imagine V4 better and then I can use V4 Creative for the same prompt. So I'll click on V4 Creative and then I'll click on Generate to just show you the difference in terms of those images so that it is easier for you to decide whether it's worth to keep on changing the art style. So I'm now using V4 Creative and the same prompt of a red cow licking ice cream. And imagine art generator is now generating an image. And there we have it. You now notice this image looks more accurate. The cow here has ice cream in the mouth, unlike the other one that looked a bit different. So you notice this one looks better. So you can keep on exploring these others. Let me use Imagine V4 and then you see what will happen. So compare that image and then the same prompt, but now using Imagine V3. Then I'll click on Generate. And there is our image. So after changing the art style to Imagine V3, you notice our cow is licking ice cream and the ice cream has, has the ice cream holder there. So you notice you can keep on changing this art style until you get the exact image that you would like. Let's just give the last example here. Let's give uh, another prompt. A blue hen with a brood of chicken. I will leave this one at Imagine V3 and then I'll click on Generate. And there we have it. So you notice we now have a blue hen here with a brood of chicken. I hope this has been a helpful tutorial. I hope you have learned something and I hope you are going to use this information to create nice looking images for whichever site that you want to use. It's good that you know the terms of use for Imagine Art so that you also know the terms on which you can use such an image. So if now I'm happy with my image here, I'll click on download there and then I'll be able to save my image. So that is how you use Imagine Art Generator. Kindly like this video, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel.